Hey, this is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. In this video, we're gonna stop the backhand hack attack, okay? So, so many people, when they're going to hit a slice backhand, end up hacking their slice. And then the ball just pops up and is a floaty piece of mess, and I think you know what I'm talking about. We've all done it, even I do it from time to time. So we've all hit these terrible slices that were just like, that was embarrassing, all right? So how do you stop doing that? Got a great drill for you today that pretty much anybody who plays tennis is gonna be able to do, all right? Nothing fancy about it, but extremely effective. I want you to get by a tennis net. Now, if you're a tennis player, can you find yourself a tennis net? I hope you can. All right, so you're gonna get by a tennis net. You're gonna get into your continental grip, okay? You're gonna get into that nice continental grip. The way you find it is you basically shake hands with a racket like that. You can hammer into a camera if you wanna break your nice iPhone, which I don't, so I'm not gonna do that, so I'm there. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna get that racket butt jutted out that way, so I'm here, and I wanna come down and forward a little bit in front of my legs, okay? That's where I wanna first start touching the net, right there, okay? Right about right there, that's where I start touching the net. And now notice that the frame is slightly open. All right, I don't want it way open, then I'm gonna hit a bad shot, and I, I don't want it even. Then you're not gonna hit slice. That's a flat ball, okay? This is a flat ball. So it's slightly open, looking just like that. So you can maybe take this video, since we've got modern technology, you can take this video right onto the court and look at yourself and make sure you're looking just like this. So you're coming here. Now here's where people start to mess up. People will run off this tape pretty soon. Even when I show people the tips sometimes on the court, they still do that, okay? And when you do that, that's when your ball tends to fly up. So what I want you to do is come right there, sink into it, and then run your racket along the net, and then when you're done, just lift it open a little bit like that to where you can then place it on the net like that. Look at that. I actually want you to do this, okay? So watch it. Here I am, bam! Look at that, I'm really sinking down in the ball and then through, and then once I can't go any further, I'm just gonna do that. So all together it'll look like this. That is it, watch that again. Boom. And if you do that, you're gonna start to hit a much better slice. It's gonna look really, really nice. Get that nice solid slice into the ball. So that ball goes to the court, cuts down, knifes down, makes your opponent dig balls out of the shoelaces. Don't you like that? So I hope you like this video, if you like it, I want, you to, I want you to like it, I want you to give it a thumbs up. If you give a thumbs up, not only does it make me feel good, it helps grow our channel, it lets YouTube know that this is a good video. Other people who wanna learn tennis and wanna learn the slice, they need to watch this video. Uh, comment, give me uh, questions on this or on the slice. Also, let me know, give me suggestions. I'm now taking suggestions in the comments, really looking at what you guys are asking, what kind of videos you want me to make, so it could be on anything, serve, volley, forehand, another backhand video, whatever you want to learn on the backhand or anything in tennis, uh, comment below and subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my future videos. Another thing is if you're looking for a modern tennis makeover, you're like, Pete, my game's a little old school. I want to improve my forehand. I've got a five-part training series called Build a Better Forehand, and what I'm going to show you right now is a preview of everything you're gonna get inside. So enjoy that and make sure you sign up. You're gonna love it. Don't go yet, because I got something really cool for you. Again, remember I got a five-part training series called Building a Better Forehand. I just wanna tell you briefly what's in there. So the first video is going to be the real power source for unlocking your potential for hitting, for hitting the ball really hard, but without much effort. And we call it connecting the core. In video two, we're going to show you something called the bucketless forehand. And this is pretty much the modern forehand blueprint as far as how the pros are preparing nowadays. And it is definitely different. It's even different, certainly different than when I was playing growing up as a junior player. The next video we're going to show you, video three, is how to crush the approach shot. Uh, this is a shot that lots of people play a great point and then they get that approach shot and they either cannot put enough power on it or they can't control it. So we're gonna show you the ideal contact point that you can control it and crush it, all right? And then we're gonna go over 
a really fun shot. And I believe that it is a shot that you want to put in your game to where you get that floaty ball in the midcourt area that you just don't volley it because lots of times it's not going to have enough, you know, mustard on the ball to put you in good position. Sometimes it requires a swinging volley. Not all the time, but sometimes it does. And you want to be able to execute it. I'm going to show you how to do it. And then finally, in video five, is we're going to show you the topspin lob. Yeah, this is this is a great shot. The offensive topspin lob. People are coming in that now. They know you got a powerful forehand. They close in that. They're waiting for that big forehand, and you hit a spinner lob right over their head. So we're going to show you that. And uh, all you got to do is click below this video and get access. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and we'll see you on the inside of the training.